Hola guys, so um, I'm going to continue with chapter one, finishing it up and do chapter two in this video. Um, sorry, my time ran out. I didn't mean for them to go over. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. I am doing the English translation of chapter one, and then I will start chapter two with the Spanish translation. Sarah buys a lot of clothing, new clothes. She buys clothes from Nordstrom. She buys Nike shoes. When Sarah needs money, she asks her dad and her dad gives her more money. She buys a lot of clothes and is sad because she doesn't have as much money in order to buy lots of clothes. She never buys clothes. Anna has clothing, but not a lot. She buys clothes from Walmart. She doesn't buy Nike shoes. She doesn't buy Calvin Klein. Sarah and Elsa buy Calvin Klein clothes and buy us Nike shoes. Anna's sad. Anna's family doesn't have good food. Her friends always eat meat. And Anna's family, they don't eat a lot of meat because they want to save money. Okay. Let's go to capitulo dos. I'm going to read and then we will translate. Un día, Anna se levanta a las siete de la mañana. Habla con su mamá. Anna le dice, necesito mi libro de historia porque voy a la escuela. La mamá se enoja y le grita. ¿Cuántos años tienes, Ana? ¿Dónde está el libro? ¿Por qué no está tu libro en tu dormitorio? ¿De, ¿De qué color es el libro? Hay un libro amarillo en tu cama. Búscalo en tu dormitorio. Está en la cama. Ana le habla a su hermano. Le dice, busca mi libro amarillo. Es un libro de historia. Es muy importante. Lo necesito para mi clase de historia. Dan se siente en el sofá y no le responde. Nunca le ayuda. Solo mirar a la televisión no le ayuda a Ana. Okay? I'm going to stop there and go ahead and translate. One day, Anna got up at 7 in the morning. She talked with her mom. Anna says, I need my history book because I'm going to school. Anna's mom was annoyed and shouts, How old are you, Anna? Where's your book? Why is your book not in your room? What color is the book? There's a yellow book on your bed. Look for it on your room. It's on your bed. Anna talks to her brother. She says, Look for my yellow book. It's a it's a history book. It's very important. I need it for my span I'm sorry, my history class. Don sits on the sofa, doesn't respond. He never helps her. Only watches television. He doesn't help Anna. Okay, let's go back to the Spanish. Anna está muy triste porque su mamá se enoja mucho y porque le grita cuando se enoja. Anna está frustrada porque su hermano no le ayuda. Anna va a su dormitorio. Su libro amarillo está en la cama. Es el libro de historia. Anna está feliz porque el libro está en la cama. Agarra el, el libro Amarillo y va a la escuela. Cuando llega a la escuela, ve a su amiga Sarah. Sarah tiene ropa nueva Calvin Klein. Es una blusa súper bonita de color azul. El color azul es el favorito color de Ana. Ana mira la blusa y dice, ah, oh, me gusta tu blusa, ¿es nueva? Sí, es mi blusa nueva. Mi papá siempre me da dinero para comprar ropa. Me gusta la ropa nueva. Siempre compro mi ropa de Nordstrom, le dice Sarah. Ana está muy triste porque no tiene ropa nueva. No tiene ropa de Calvin Klein. Está triste porque tiene problemas con su familia. No con sonreír. Ana va a su clase de español. Tiene una profesora muy buena. Se llama señor Borda, señora Borda. Señora Borda tiene 15 años de experiencia de profesora. Okay. I will stop there and translate. Ana is very sad because her mom annoys her a lot and because she shouts when she's annoyed or her mom is oh, siento, her mom is always annoyed and she shouts when she's annoyed and is frustrated because her brother doesn't help her Anna goes to her room her yellow book is on the bed it's her history book and is happy because the book is on the bed she grabs the yellow book and goes to school when she arrives at school she sees her friend sarah sarah has new calvin klein clothes her Blouse is super pretty. This is super pretty with a color blue. Her blue color, the color blue is her is Anna's favorite color. Anna looks at the blouse and says, Oh, I like your blouse. Is it new? Yes, my blouse is new. 
My dad always gives me money to buy clothes. I like my new clothes. I always buy new clothes in, Ro in Nordstrom, says Sarah. And it's very sad because she doesn't have new clothes. She doesn't have Calvin Klein clothes. She's sad because she has problems with her family. She never smiles. Anna goes to her class of Spanish. She has a really good teacher. Her name is Senora Borda. Senora Borda has 15 years of experience as a teacher. Okay. Let's go back to Spanish and we're going to be finished with chapter two. Awesome. Let's keep going. Cuando Ana está en la clase, la profesora habla con la clase. Dice que hay una oportunidad buenísima para un estudiante de West Torrance High. Un estudiante puede ir a México y puede vivir con una familia mexicana. El estudiante puede vivir con una familia en México por tres meses durante el verano. No cuesta nada porque la escuela va a pagar el transporte y la familia mexicana va a pagar la comida. Después de la clase, Ana habla con señora Borda. Ana le dice a profesora, quiero ir a México. Me gusta México. Quiero vivir con una familia mexicana. Ana está contenta. Quiere ir a México. Quiere vivir con una familia mexicana. Quiere escapar, escapar de sus problemas en los Estados Unidos. Let's translate here before we go on because we're going to finish chapter two. When Anna is in class, the, talk, the, the teacher or her teacher talks with her class. She says that there's a great opportunity for a student of West Torrance High. A student can live, go to Mexico and can live with a Mexican family. The student can live with the family in Mexico for three months during the summer. It costs nothing because the school is going to pay for the transportation and the Mexican family is going to give, pay for the food. After class, Anna talks with Senora Borda. Anna says to her teacher, I want to go to Mexico. I like Mexico. I want to live with a Mexican family. Anna's happy. She wants to go to Mexico. She wants to live with a Mexican family. She wants to escape her problems in the United States. Okay, y'all, I'll read this. We'll translate it, and then we'll be on chapter three, which is what we're currently on right now for this unit. Anna camina un poco y después toma el autobús amarillo y va a su casa. Cuando su papá llega a casa, Anna habla con él. La señora Borda es mi profesora de español. Ella dice que un estudiante de la West Torrance High puede ir a México por tres meses en el verano. Quiero ir. Me gusta México. Quiero vivir con una familia mexicana. La señora Borda dice que es una experiencia muy buena. El papá se enoja y le grita. No hay dinero. No tengo dinero. No puedo pagar. Ana le dice, papá, la escuela va a pagar. No necesitas pagar nada. Es una oportunidad muy buena para mí. Por favor, papá, quiero ir a México. Cuando Ana le dice al papá, no cuesta nada, el papá está muy feliz. Él le dice, Ana, no hay problema, puedes ir a México. Ana walks a little, let's go back to the top, and we're translating. Any, Ana walks a little, takes the yellow bus and goes home. When her dad arrives home, she talks with him. Señora Borda is my Spanish teacher. She says that a student from West Torrance High School can go to Mexico for three months in the summer. I want to go. I like Mexico. I want to live with a Mexican family. Senora Borda says the experience is very good. Her, pa, her dad is annoyed and he shouts, no, there's no money. I don't have money. I can't pay. He's angry. He shouts. Anna says, dad, the school's going to pay. You don't have to pay anything. It's a great opportunity for me. Please, Dad, I want to go to Mexico. Anna tells her dad it doesn't cost anything. Her dad is very happy. He tells her, Anna, no problem. You can go to Mexico. Guys, I'm going to stop it here so it doesn't get too long. And the next video will be Chapter 3. Gracias.